let's begin our quiz. So the first part of our quiz uh, will be about uh, language and structure of Arabic. Which of the following is not a symbol in the story? Yes, uh, the bazaar is uh, symbolic of the boy's, the goal, the object of the boy's quest. So is Mangan's sister. The two things are combined. Okay, um, and of course, uh, both of them uh, uh, contain a mixture of uh, imp uh, meanings. You know, the spiritual, the commercial, um, the trivial, the superficial, etc. Okay, and the last one, um, uh, the wild garden, uh, is just what we just talked about. Uh, that the garden uh, is actually symbolic of uh, the decadence uh, of uh, or degradation of religion. Uh, but the, the the third one, I saw myself as a creature driven and derided by vanity. Here, uh, definitely, the boy is not does not treat himself as a symbol. Okay, um, he he sees himself uh, as a creature. This this could be seen as a simile or a comparison, but it's not symbolic. Okay, um, originally I put here uh, the first paragraph of Arabi, uh, where uh, there is a description of the houses with uh, brown um. Uh, imperturbable faces and I thought that um, the house is uh, a personification there the houses are personified um, but I uh, it actually uh, if we if I use that it could be misleading because uh, a lot of things uh, or a lot of descriptions you can see as symbolic you know whether something is symbolic or not you no know, actually depends on your own interpretation now, for instance, I still remember uh, when I discussed with the TAs, uh, um, the first story, uh, the start of an hour, uh, Daphne said that the windows is symbolic. Indeed, the window is symbolic in the uh, story of an hour. And it's a matter of uh, whether you want to deal with it as a symbol. You know, because uh, to see the window as symbolic um, is pretty common for me. You know, because uh, we see wind, uh, eyes as of the windows of our soul. You know, we see uh, sometimes windows as uh, windows to the world. You know, a kind of opening to something else. Okay, so seeing the window as something symbolic, or seeing um, some symbolic implications in the first descriptions of the houses, uh, is not impossible. It's not impossible. But I don't think here there is any implications of the symbolic. This is purely a description and a comparison of the boy as uh, some creature being uh, laughed at, being uh, frustrated, being driven. Okay, okay. So let's move on to the second question. Brownness is indeed the dominant image in this uh, story, and it's used to describe the houses as well as Mangan's sister. Okay, and um. The uh, the color images or the images of light and darkness are very important. You know, they have symbolic meanings uh, in this story. So that's something you really should pay attention to. Okay, so this is for your reference. Um, uh, how Mangan's sister is uh, associated with uh, images of light and brownness. Okay, for instance, she was waiting for us. Her figure defined by the light from the half-open window. A half open door. Okay. Uh, she has images of uh, femininity, like um, the soft rope of her, of her hair. Definitely suggests uh, femininity. Okay. Uh, her dress, likewise, the swaying of her body. But uh, what is also peculiar is uh, the how images of light and brownness are associated with her. Okay. Brown clad figure. Uh, her brown figure. Okay, the next one. One, two, four are uh, what makes the two stories similar to each other. Okay, like um, uh, it does not. Ha uh, well, it does not have. Uh, it does have an open ending. Both of them do have an open ending. Okay, and both of them give background reasons for the boy's failure, and that makes uh, the the different backgrounds makes the boys different. No one in the 60s uh, and being uh, more open-minded, being more liberated, 
and uh, the, this little boy um, in the first part of the 20th century in Ireland. So he's uh, and he's an orphan. So he's definitely more uh, isolated than uh, Sammy in AMP. Okay, um, but uh, Arabic does not begin in the middle. Okay, uh, AMP does uh, begin in, in the middle. You know, in the Latin word is uh, immediate stress. That's a, lat a Latin term. Uh, basically, um, AMP is special because it begins in the middle and then Sammy plunges us right into the middle of his action. And the, ha the action uh, develops very fast. But um, this story uh, presents a boy as being very, uh, very much of an introvert, you know, very reflexive. Okay, so we see a lot of what he thinks than what he does. You know, the action begins uh, maybe two thirds into the story. Okay, and then the action begins. So, you know, he's going to Araby. And the, the little action that begins uh, is uh, Mangan's sisters talking to him. And that's around the middle of the story. Okay, so in that sense, uh, this story, unlike AMP, has an, a long introduction. And this may be what makes the story difficult or even boring uh, for you when you first read it. I'm not sure uh, what you felt about it. You know, it, it is less accessible, 比较难接近, than AMP because of, different, of the different narrative styles. Okay? Okay, so here we have questions about uh, the setting. Uh, what role does religion play in a story? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, religion does not support the boy's spiritual progress. The, the priest is dead, right? Okay, uh, there's no real discussion or involvement in religion, uh, religious uh, teaching, meditation, no. You know, when a boy pray, he calls out love, love, love. You know, it's not about religion, it's about his love. He's confused, okay? And his teaching is conveyed through the books the priest left behind, no. You know, the boy doesn't read them. He just loved the looks of the books. Okay, and to know that this priest has three books left behind, uh, it shows that the priest himself has diverse interests too. You know, this priest is not like devoted to re religious uh, learning, religious studies itself. Okay, so, um, so it, uh, it should be number three. Religion is confused with romance in the boy's mind. Um, yes, uh, uh, the role of re religion uh, is uh, very important. Just as uh, a kind of um, spiritual paralysis, paralysis, ma bi, ma uh, yeah, ma bi, just immobility. For James Joyce, uh, the whole city of Dublin, you know, uh, was uh, a city of paralysis. You know, where people are uh, pretty much confined by where they are, what they are doing, and uh, what they believe in, and what they care about, etc. Okay, um, and you know that the uh, the, um, the uh, independence movement of Arabi, uh, uh, sorry, of Dublin, of Ireland, at that point uh, was also very uh, much a debatable issue. Okay, so all of these are uh, what she's concerned with when he uh, wrote uh, Dubliners, or a uh, portrait of an artist as a young man, 一个年轻艺术家的画像, you know, these are all masterpieces uh, that you, know, you should get to sometime, okay? Okay, uh, let's move on. Yeah, let's take a look at the answer. W which one did you choose? Uh, let me see. Number three. Um, the uncle is completely uh, incommunicative. He's drunk, and he reads uh, from uh, the Irish farewell to his uh, Steve, because uh, he associates Arab to Arab. But there's there are no connections, at least not for this boy. There's no connection between the two. No. So uh, the lack of communication and uh, uh, understanding on the uncle's part, you know, is a sign of superficiality. I think you, you need to be careful in reading the lines here 
The boy allows the two pennies to fall against the sixpence in his po pocket. So, in other words,、uh, he gives up on his dependence on money. So, this in itself is not materialist. You know, it is to realize how money cannot help him. You know, when the first、uh, the boy first go on the goes on the trip, he holds tight the florin he has in mind in his hand, because he knows that that's the only uh, uh, means with which、uh, he can get what、uh, Mangan sister wants. But towards the end, he gives up on it, even though、uh, he actually has a chance to buy something, because、uh, the shop girl、uh, talks to him. But he gives up on it. Okay, so so this is、uh, this gesture of letting the,、uh, dropping the the two pennies is not a sign of materialism. Okay,、um, Mangan sister's interest in Arabic、um, because um, uh, if you want if we want to define、uh, the boy's quest as a spiritual quest. You know what is ironic is that you know、uh, Mangan sister as actually asked him to go to a marketplace. Okay, uh, 去一个卖场 You know how spiritual can it be? Uh, so Mangan sister's uh interest in Arabic itself is a sign of her materialist interest. There's nothing spiritual there, nothing romantic there either. Okay. Um, and the three people,、uh, the three young people, they are flirting with one another. Okay, and then、uh, the woman said, "Oh, there is a fib there." In other words,、um, uh, she thinks that uh, the uh, the other two are、uh, telling lies. So the whole、uh, flippant and 轻浮的 discussion, you know, is a sign of superficiality. Okay. Okay.、Uh, let's move on. So uh, here, uh, this is for your reference: superficiality, the, di、uh, the dialogue, the uncle's lack of understanding,、uh, and his use of an exotic poem, materialism, which、uh, the quest is contaminated by. You know, for the for the boy, the quest is the most important and the most mature thing to do,、uh, but it's actually contaminated by his need for money. Okay, and that's why、uh, at the beginning he held、uh, the florin tightly in his hand, and then、uh, in the bazaar he listened to the fall of coins, and I think this is a point where he realizes that, you know, this is just a com com、uh, commercial place, you know, a marketplace. So at the end、uh, he gives up and let the, the florins fall. Okay, uh, and uh, instead of buying something, okay, and that shows、uh, his disappointment. Or、uh, disillusionment. Okay, okay.、Uh, let's move on. So just now we deal with、uh, language and structure, and、uh, now we are moving on to、uh, characters. Yes,、uh, he compares himself to a harp. He said that her words are like uh, mu uh, musicians' hands. You know, uh, uh, pro producing music on his body, you know, on the strings on、uh, of the harp、uh, of his body. Okay, so that's a、uh, so I reverse the comparison. Um, uh, I I believe that、uh, we have talked about this. Uh, his love for Mangan sister is uh mixed with religious sentiment, so he's basically uh confused. And number one and three. Uh, are、uh, signs to show that the whole event, the whole experience, can be that of、uh, an initiation. But whether this is a story of initi initiation, 成长故事 or not,、uh, is really、uh, open to discussion. This is really much,、uh, very, very, very much like uh, uh, AMP. You know, you can define it as、uh, a story of growth and initiation, or you can say that there is no growth, no initiation. Uh, but these two、um, signs, for instance,、uh, in the beginning, he he lo loves to play games. He said that、um, uh, the the alley where he lives in is quiet, except for the time when、uh, Christian children's school uh, uh, release their kids. Okay, and then the the, the alley become noisy, and then. They play games、uh, all, uh, all around the alley and also to the countryside, etc.、Uh, 
um, and there is a great description there to say that um, uh, when he, he goes back to the alley uh, after running around, you know, he feels that his body glow. 好像是那个发热到一个地步变发光那种感觉,像是一个灯泡一样发光, you know, uh, in, in, in the chilly weather. Uh, I think um, that's a really vivid description of uh, exercise for me, okay? Uh, and then, um, but once he falls in love with uh, Mangan's sister, and once uh, Mangan's sister uh, gives him this mission of going to Araby, he loses interest in the games. Also, he loses interest in uh, daily duties. And that's why uh, at one point when he's waiting for the uncle to come back, he said that he hears his, uh, uh, his uh, friends playing outside, but their voices are uh, indistinct and remote. So that shows uh, that he has a, a large distance. You know, he holds a large distance from them. Also, uh, uh, in, at school, uh, he cannot focus. You know, in between him and the books, uh, there is this image of Mangan's sister. Okay, so these two things make him uh, different from wh uh, h what he was before. Okay, uh, let's move on. This is for your reference. Um, uh, images of uh, religion. Uh, for instance, uh, in the market, he feels that um, because the marketplace is a noisy place, so he feels that he's among the enemies. Okay, and then he's protecting his chalice. Okay, 那个圣杯, okay. And then um, when he's in the priest's room, he, uh, he prays and he uh, speaks of her name in strange prayers and praises. Okay, uh, and he, he gets so emotional that his eyes are, are full of tears. And also in, in the priest's room, uh, he, he's in complete darkness, so he feels that all of the whole body, the senses uh, of her, his body is veiled, is becoming dull. Uh, and then he hold, presses the palms of his hands together to, uh, to murmur his prayers. Okay, so uh, the, the, the concentration on prayer to such a degree that all the other senses become dull and he's only praying. You know, and this is uh, also uh, an expression of his concentration, his uh, focus on Mangan's sister, okay? Uh, I think the um, Mangan's sister herself is also uh, associated with light. And the association with light uh, suggests that she might be a Virgin Mary figure, you know, like surrounded by halo, okay? But, you know, if you uh, pay close attention to the way she described, you'll find out that uh, her description images uh, associated with her are a mixture, a mixture of lightness, light and darkness, or light and brownness. And also a mixture of Virgin Mary image and the materialist concern. For instance, uh, she, she keeps her turn, turn, uh, turning uh, the silver bracelet on her wrist. No, so this is um, Maybe an innocent uh, gesture, but it shows that she cares a lot about the material work, uh, material thing, okay, like a bracelet, okay. Uh, and then she, um, she hold one of the spikes, bowing her head towards uh, the boy. And then there's this description of the light, you know, following the, the, the boy's gaze, the light uh, landing on her neck, her hair, and then her hand, and then it falls over her dress to the petticoat, okay? So basically, um, it seems that the light, following the boy's gaze, uh, the light uh, envelops the uh, Mangan sister. And then uh, in this uh, like um, traveling of the light, you know, we see what the boy cares about. You know, the boy's uh, attention on Mangan sister uh, is not as, uh, sex-oriented, uh, semi. Semi would directly look at the, the, uh, the breast, okay? But the boy avoids them. She, he looks at the contour, the zhouwei, renkuo, of uh, Mangan's sister. But I think there were uh, still some hints of his attraction to sex. For instance, uh, the mentioning of petticoat, and the mentioning of the neck, you know, suggests that uh, it, this is a sublimation 
of his sexual desire. 上边没选就有点升华，他不敢去看那个和性相关的，他就看一些是和性，呃 ，remotely connected， 呃，比较有点相关，可是没有直接相关。